If you're a block launcher modder who wants to make mods in inner core, I'm gonna tell you a few things you need to know before starting out and we're gonna do it right now. What is going on guys, my name is San and welcome back to my video. So the first thing first, this is a video that's not a fan based video. So if you like block launcher, I get a full list of block launcher tutorials down in the description and on the cards at the top right corner. So let's begin this video. So the first thing first, the language is the same from block launcher and inner core. They use both JavaScript so you can get along very easily. Now, the differences is in the API. Now, Inner Core has better API as far as I can see. It has many more features like custom block models, custom entity models, custom entity, custom tile entity, custom dimension, and etc. Now, Block Launcher is very limited on its API. But Block Launcher is updated to the latest version very oftenly. Unlike Inner Core, Inner Core is rarely updated, and the last version I check right now is 1.11 and it's still being updated currently being actively developed inside the horizon modding kernel you can download it on play store to install the latest version of inner core the next one is code and texture now in block launcher code and texture are separated into javascript and a zip file and you have to import those manually inside block launcher the workaround around this for block launcher is to create a mod package file. That way you can import it all in one file. The difference with inner core is that both of them is combined into one folder. So you don't have to import them manually and you can see the project structure a little bit cleaner. As you can see here, I'm opening my app, it's called Pocket Coder. You can search it on Google Play Store, Pocket Coder without space and you will find the IDE there and as you can see here this is the list of the folder structure that's on the inner core or horizon you can see there's blocks and items are in the same folder and as well as the script it's just one single project folder multiplayer compatibility now block launcher itself is not very multiplayer compatible it kind of works, some of the functions are not working, but in inner core, it's completely non-existent. Many reports saying that inner core doesn't really work on multiplayer, like doesn't work at all. Function hooking. Now, function hooking is a little bit different. On the left side, you can see here is function hooking on block launcher. And on the right side, we can see the function hooking on inner core. You can see the difference, but they are still both in JS. There is no function list or mod be script dumps, but there is documentation. Inercore has its own documentation website. If you open up my pocket coder app, scroll to the left, and you can see there's a documentation folder. It will take you into the documentation of the inner core or more likely it's for core engine the previous generation of inner core but it's still mostly the same you can see everything there and as you can see it's more powerful speaking of money you can make money easily with your content you can upload it on mcpecore.com I am one of the moderators there. Every comment, every post is moderated. So there is no stealing content, no comments that is like using bad words. This is a family friendly thing. You can upload all sorts of stuff in this website and yeah, it will be good. Anyway guys, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.